Good evening. It's another beautiful edition of your favorite sports show that happens to be a window to all footballing related activities. You know, it is Monday Night Football, and Adedotu Agumbiade is my name. And tonight we'll be talking about uh, what we'll be going down Tuesdays and, and Wednesdays, talking about the big club uh, tournament where for Champions League we'll be seeing Real Madrid actually stick to the pitch again. And we'll be seeing the big one between Juventus and Manchester United. And not forgetting what is really going on in Nigerian football scene, talking about the preparation for the forthcoming UEFA at the Afghan qualifier between the South African national team and the Super Eagles. Just uh, not too long ago, CAF have actually picked a referee that will be in charge of the game. Talking about Gabion International, Gatsama, uh, who is going to be the central referee. While we'll be talking about the game, we'll still be talking about the injury of Francis Ezo. This is a great blow for the Nigerian national team. We'll be talking about the retirement of one great player who actually shone like a million stars during his playing career. Talking about Rafael van der Vaart, would call it quite totally from football after a fantastic uh, uh, footballing career. We'll be talking about the youngest ever to score in Paraguayan League. Talking about Fernando Ovella, young star, 14 years, actually got, uh, uh, kicked the ball rolling as a young man and he started making the headline despite the fact that he's still very much young and we'll be talking about the uh fixtures of game that will be going down in the english premier league tonight others feed will play host to Fuan football club and the big one like i said the other time we're for champions league uh it is your best uh spot show that happens to be a window to all footballing activities once again adedotun agumbiade is my name and joining me tonight to the justice to all of the topics we have at hand, I have Tola Olushola. Tola, good evening and how are you doing? Good evening, Dutton. Always a pleasure to be on the show. Of course, always a pleasure to be on the show. And tonight, let's start with the Nigerian news, talking about the news of CAF picking a Gabion to be in charge of the Nigerian game between uh, uh, Nigeria and the South African national team, known as Bafana Bafana. And the name of the referee is Bakari Papa Gasama. Gapa, Bakari Gaga Pasa, uh, Papa Gasama is going to be in charge of the game. Yes, um, uh, uh, the, the African footballing body has already, you know, they've chosen who they feel is um, fit enough for that particular encounter. And I expect nothing more than a fair officiating. You understand the fact that this is a game that will go right down to the wire. It's a, a make or break game for the. Uh, Nigerian Super Eagles. So you understand the fact that we don't have the we don't we don't we don't we, we, we don't have the luxury of drawing this game. We also don't have the luxury of losing this game. We should make it possible that we are winning this game. So this game is a game that demands total you know concentration from the lads. It, 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 it warrants us to be focused. You know we should be disciplined because if we are not disciplined this official this official would you know di dish out the cards we have officials that are always card happy so you know we should all just be cautious be ready for the game and we should look to not just play it but play it to get our maximum three points i don't know much about the official but i believe the official is someone that is you know that has got so much experience and uh we should expect a very, very fair officiating. Well, we should expect a fair officiating and uh, are hoping that the referee will not be the man of the match because in many games we get to see the referee imagine as the man of the match owing to the fact that they make controversial decision and error on their part. And still on the qualifying series between the Nigerian national team, the Super Eagles, and the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. This one is a great blow to the Nigerian national team. The goalkeeper of the side, talking about Francis Izo, is half injured. Okay, we have Daniel calling from uh, Epaja. Daniel, good evening. How are you doing tonight? Okay, thank you, Daniel. Can you turn down the volume of your TV set? Okay, Daniel, go ahead with your contribution. Okay. Can you speak okay. up, Daniel? Daniel, please speak up. Speak up. I can't hear you clearly. Hello, Daniel. 
I think we lost the call. Okay, please, Daniel, you could call back. The number is on your TV screens. If you want to be part of today's edition of your favorite art sports show that happens to be our window to half footballing related activities. It is Monday Night Football, and we, you know, it's always a one-stop show that gives you details of footballing activities. Well, let's talk about Francis Izzo, how to enjoy it. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> For four weeks. <laughs> uh, the, the, the young man, you remember we were talking about him earlier in the day, uh, talking about the way he considered goals over the weekend. But now, some people that don't actually want him would if a sigh of relief that, wow, <laughs> the young man is now out. But I don't think that is the best way to look at it because um, he's still young. Of course, he's very, still very developing. Young. Yes. And it is a, at 20. At, you understand? He's, I, he's wouldn't be, I wouldn't believe that age, but if he says that is his he's age, 20. I would accept Tola the fact. He's 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's not a good one for him not being in contention for this game. And not just this game, you know, this is the AFCON qualifier. He will be missing this AFCON qualifier against South Africa and also the friendly. Against, against Uganda. Uganda. So uh, it's a fracture uh, injury. The, 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 the injury is fractured and uh, it would be held for four weeks. But I think we have able deputies that will be able to deputize for him because that game against South Africa, we have no choice other than getting the maximum three points. Okay, we have no choice other than getting the maximum three points in that particular game between Nigeria and the South Africa national team known as Bafana Bafana. They came to Nigeria, they saw and they conquered the Super Eagles. Will Super Eagles pay them in the same coin they did pay our Super Eagles? It's a question that needs to be answered on the field of play by the Super Eagles themselves. And away from that, let's talk about these. It concerns the Nigerian Professional Football League, talking about Rafael Everton, who actually has signed the dotted line with Aqua United and he has been unveiled as the new coach. Oh, well, it's a, it's a good one for um, Aqua United, if you ask me, because this is a man that is, um, he has coached um, Ifa in Uba before, which means that he has been around for quite some time and he understands how the Nigerian game is being played. So I wouldn't know how well he will settle into the <laughs> job, but I understand the fact that um, before they are giving him the job, they know. They know, yes. They know yes. that he understands Nigerian football, the Nigerian league very well. And, uh, you know, there is a way foreigners come and do their job. You know, they do it differently from our normal. I'm not saying they are better of us. But you understand the fact that, you know... But th these guys always, understand the tactical side of yes, the game better than we do. Yes, they do. Because, you know, the way they run football out there in it's Europe, quite different from how we run football. The world yeah, yeah. is very different from the way we run it in Africa. And I think our other gaffers, local gaffers too, can learn... Okay, we have JB calling from Father. JB, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, good evening. Uh, uh, our, I hope you had a fantastic day. Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead with your contribution, JB. Okay. Go on, JB. We, 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 we are listening. Hello, JB. Okay, quite unfortunate we lost that. Please keep the call coming. We want to have your view concerning the big one that will be going down tomorrow and the day after tomorrow in the European continent. So, as I was saying, good luck to um, um, FC uh, 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 Aqua United and good luck to the new manager. I wish them well. I think. Um, okay, we have uh, Shegun calling from Bariga. Shegun, good evening. How are you doing? Hello, good evening, Shegun. Hope you had a wonderful day. Yeah, hello, good evening. Okay, go ahead with your contribution, uh, Shegun. Yeah, I'm surprised about the condition of our good keeper, Francis Uso. Is he now functioning for his club? Because I heard he's not in the kitchen. Yes, yes, he's not going to be part of the game. Okay. Because he's out. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No. Ah, hello. Uh, I'm with you. Pertaining to his injury, what was the injury? Uh, during the game, he suffered concussion, so he has to be a concussion. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Shagun, go. I wish you to be good. Okay, thank you very much, Shagun. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Shagun. Back, back to you. Let's talk about this. Uh, let's talk a move away from Aqua United and talk about is of great interest to what football at large talking about the man from a Dutch international international talking about Rafael van der Vaart who did play his trade with some of the biggest clubs in the world, uh, to mention but few, Real Madrid, Inter Milan and 40 Football Club. This great man, at 35, called it great from football totally. It's uh, a great uh, loss.
to the footballing world. I remembered uh, Raphael van der Vaart. Yes, he was a very superb player, but you want to talk about a player that was like our home, we've seen a rumor, always, <laughs> always in the shadows of Austin JJ Okocha. Raphael van der Vaart was a superb player, but was always under the shadows of Wesley Snyder. And that made people not to, you know, identify with his talent. But I could tell you that he played it's just... a dead ball situation, Ma Ma played, Ma Yes, he played just a season for Tottenham Hotspur and it was... It, it, it was awesome. It was about... Okay, we have Ibrahim player. calling from Oshori. Ibrahim, good evening. How are you doing today? I think we lost the call. Okay, we lost the call. Okay, Ibrahim, you can call back. So, he was uh, the best player that season you know actually after the end of the season he never won it but you know when the season started he made his mark and he showed to i remember he's called a fantastic free kick against arsenal. arsenal and it was about the first time they were winning arsenal in a very long time then so rafael van der vaart retiring from football wow it's a big loss to the football okay ibrahim you're back online good evening how are you doing ibrahim i'm fine okay go ahead with your contribution ibrahim yes Hello, Ibrahim. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Go on with your contribution. I'm also a footballer. You are a footballer? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Ibrahim, for the contribution. Thank you very much. It's noted that you are a footballer and one day you become great. Okay, thank you very much. Actually, let's talk about this. Uh, it's of great interest to watch football at large, talking about the young lad that actually uh, 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 that scored a goal in Paraguayan League, a 14 year old, talking about Fernando Vela, 14 years. Uh, just let, let's talk about this briefly. Yes, uh, uh, the youngest ever goal scorer in the Paraguayan League, uh, Fernando Vela. For his age, it's awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. You know, we do encourage our kids right here. And, um, you know, when we have kids playing football over here, we tend to tell them. Okay, we have yeah. Shelton from Ajegulet. Uh, let me uh, put you on hold. Shelton, good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, okay. Go ahead with your contribution, Shelton. Yeah, I want to talk about uh, uh, what, what do you want to talk about, Shelton? Okay, Francis is all. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Chegu. Chegu, you are not holding the enough. I can't hear you clearly. I said our second keeper. Okay, it can do it say what? Okay. Okay. Okay, so it can actually deputize for him. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, Shegu, for being part of the show. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about this before we call it quit on this particular segment. Let's talk about the game that we'll be seeing today in the English Premier League, talking about all the speed up against Fuan. Yes, it's a game between 19th and 20th in the league, and uh, you understand the fact that uh, these two teams are struggling, and um, they, they know that this is a, uh, a game they should be looking to pick the maximum three points so, to help to, to, to hit to their position their, you understand, on, on the, the league log. log. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a game that um, they should be giving their all because it's a winnable game for both of them. Of course. Because when they pair themselves, when they, are get, when they get paired against top teams, it's difficult to get the three. But against, and okay. this match tonight will complete the game week 11, uh, uh, the match, the games for game week 11. So it's a match that people should also look forward to. You know, you understand the fact that... Um, when it gets to the end of the season, we are always focused on who is going to get relegated. But okay. now we can't be sure. Of course. But the more they pick points, the more they are well placed. Like Newcastle did, yes, uh, during the weekend. Okay, we have Godwin calling from Mafoluku. Good evening, Godwin. Hello. Uh, good evening, Godwin. Hello. I'm with you, Godwin. You can go ahead with your contribution, Godwin. I'm talking about the youngest boy. Okay, the youngest guy that scored in the Paraguayan League. Guy, the top guy. Okay, okay, okay. 14-year-old Fernando uh, of Vela. Vela, yes. Yeah. 
And when he grew up, he'll be a great star. You said what? And when he continues with his work, he'll become a great star. Of yeah. course, of course. He has actually put himself in the world ma uh, in the uh, in the world of football and the, in the mind of people that so much love football. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Godwin, for being a part of today's edition. Okay, let's quickly take a look at what happened between the Arsenal Football Club and Liverpool during the weekend. It was a fantastic game. Uh, many among soccer-loving persons are expecting that Liverpool will take Arsenal to the cleaners. But what happened? It ended in favor of Arsenal. Let's take a look at what happened between the two teams.